Hey guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem making anagrams. We consider two strings to be anagrams of each other if the first string letters can be rearranged to form the second string. In other words, both strings must contain the same exact letters in the same exact frequency. For example, BACDC and DCBAC are anagrams. But BACDC and DCBAD are not because D is occurring two times here and D occurred one time only. There is a difference of frequency in those two words. That's why it's not an anagram. Alice is taking a cryptographic class and finding anagrams to be very useful. She decides on an encryption scheme involving two large strings where encryption is dependent on the number of minimum character deletions required to make the two strings anagrams. Can you help her find this number? Given two strings S1 and S2 that may not be of the same length, determine the minimum number of character deletions required to make S1 and S2 anagrams. Any characters can be deleted from either of those strings. Ok, we have to delete either of those strings in order to convert both the strings as anagrams. That's the whole purpose of this question. So let's see an example here string S1 as ABC and S2 as AMNOP. The only characters that match are the A's. So we have to remove BC from string 1 and MNOP from string 2. So the total is 6 deletions. Okay, from the example alone we, we can get the logic that uh, we have to find the matching characters and uh, all the remaining characters should be deleted. That's the whole logic of the program. We can use the counter to get the number of elements from both of the string and subtract it to get the total number of deletions. Okay, let's see the constraints. Here S1 and S2 can go up to 10 to the power of 4. Here also we are going to use the counter so we can solve it in linear time. We don't need to approach any brute force solution. So we don't need to worry about a time limit. Let's see some example. String 1 is CDE and string 2 is ABC. Both the string has C in common. So we have to delete the other 4 characters. So the result is 4. I think uh, you understood the logic. It is uh, pretty easy to understand. Let's solve the problem quickly. As usual, we have to import a statement from collections import counter to make a dictionary. First, we have to create a dictionary for string. Create dictionary for strings. D1 equals counter of S1. So it will create a dictionary for string 1. Similarly, D2 equals counter of S2. So it will create a dictionary for string 2. Now we have to find the elements that are different between those two dictionaries. So we will use a final variable as total, that is the total number of characters. In the first part, we will delete the characters from D1. So that will be D1 minus D2. So it will delete the matching characters from D1. And for the second part, we have to do it for D2. D2 minus D1. In the second part, we have to delete the matching characters of D2. So finally, we have all the characters that we need to delete in the total variable. So total is also a dictionary. We have to remember that. Finally, we have to return the number of characters we need to delete. So that will be written sum of total dot values. Values represents the number of characters that we need to delete. So you can see this is the whole logic of the program. We are getting the unmatching characters from the first part and uh, for the second part we are doing the same for string 2. Finally we are combining both of those and returning those values. Ok let's run the code. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. That's it guys. We solved the problem. If this video is helpful to you, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos. Stay tuned for the next video.